What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and we changed the scenery a little bit. So yeah, today we are going to do an alphabet uh, list, a part of alphabet list. This is going to be a three part series where I'm going to pick each letter of the alphabet, English alphabet of course, because if we took Croatian alphabet, then there would be some letters that don't have games that start with that letter. So yeah, we're going to do an English alphabet. Uh, I will take all the letters and pick one game that I think is the great that you should definitely check out. And basically that is that. And we are going to learn something uh, a, a little along the way, but you'll see what I'm talking about when we start uh, this uh, top list. I cannot call it top 10 because it's not 10 games. So yeah, let's start. And we are kicking things off with the letter A and the letter A is for the best game ever created if you ask me and that game is called Anachrony. Anachrony and uh, there's even expansion box here and Anachrony is a beautiful beautiful worker placement game that looks super complicated at first but once you get to play it once you get to know how it works it goes really smoothly it has nice time travel mechanic I think it's the best representation of time travel ever seen in any game and there's also great big expansion soon coming so i'm really looking forward to it so yeah letter a anachrony an awesome awesome worker placement game the best game ever For the letter B, I choose uh, Brass, either Birmingham or Lancashire, the new ones, of course, uh, made by uh, Roxley Games. Uh, those games, uh, I, I'm more and more into train games, uh, I, I noticed that, and uh, Brass is perfect example of uh, train games that I like. It is just how everything works in that game is just beautiful. From, from the thing where you want to put your buildings with the ore and with the iron so other people can take it, then you can flip it and get extra points. But at the same time, you really need that coal. You want to take it for yourself. You don't want to take it uh, from other players' sports. You want to put it closer to you where you need to build. It just works. It just works. It's an awesome, awesome thing. So my B game is uh, Brass, either Birmingham or Lincolnshire. It's basically the same game with few little differences. Letter C is reserved for one of the greatest games, best game I ever played, one of the best game that I ever played. That game is called Castles of Burgundy. Now I know it's technically called The Castles of Burgundy so it should be under letter T but I decided to ignore those the things before the games that, that way it's just not doable, it's stupid. Either way, Castles of Burgundy, it's a phenomenal... What, what is the type of the game? Is, is it dice rolling worker? But no, I'm not really sure what type of game it is right now. But basically you are rolling two dice and you can do a bunch of different things. You are building around your castles or you're, you're exploring your area or building, developing it, however you want to call it. And there was a reprint, uh, you can find the video on my channel about uh, comparing the new to old one. Uh, sadly, it could have been much, much better, but still I'm super hyped. I'm really happy they, we, that we get the second edition of it because that game really deserved it, but it deserves much more than it gets. So Castles of Burgundy, my letter C, great, great game. D stands for a game that I don't see often played, but it is such a phenomenal game. It is called the Dominant Species. Dominant Species, I don't know which 7th, 8th, ninth edition, whichever edition it is right now. That game, that game is just, it is so nice how the, every, I always say that it's nice how everything works, but they really tend to uh, hit on, a, on a, some mechanics that I really like. In this one, you are First, choosing all the actions that you will play throughout the turn and depending actions will be done from top to bottom, left to right and depending where you end up with your uh, pawn, you will do the action first, second, third or however you are decided to go and you have to think about different things. You are basically species trying to spread around, trying to kill other species to dominate them. It's, dom it's a game is called 
dominant species. I had to check it out on the paper. I kind of forgot for a second. So yeah, uh, the game is called after all dominant species. You try to dominate other species. It is super abstract looking. It's just little cubes and little cones. And those cones represent that you have uh, dominance in that space. And you need, uh, there is no rule that tells, once this happens, you have dominance. You need to know, I mean, there is a rule how you are dominant on a space, but you need to uh, figure it out that you are dominant on that space and you need to say, I am dominant here, I'm getting this space, I will get points for these or something like that. So, dominant pieces, go check it out, even though it looks abstract, it's an awesome, awesome game. E is reserved for a newcomer. It is 2019 game that I picked up at Essen. I had great expectation from it and once I played it, uh, it fulfilled all my expectations. It is called Era Medieval Age. It is basically, it is basically overproduced roll and write game, but uh, as I, am, I like city building games and this game you get like 3D components of all the buildings that you can build in your kingdom. It just works wonders. The rolling dice, you are rolling them behind the screen, so there's always a potential that somebody will cheat, but it goes on them if they, if they decide to cheat. I'm just playing it because I have lots of fun. Rolling dice, not knowing what you're gonna get, you can push your luck, but if you get those skulls, you can really hurt yourself super, super bad, but sometimes you can even hurt each other, so you maybe wanna stop when you have like five skulls, other people will have prob have problems in a game and you will be scot free. So Era Medieval Age is an awesome roll and write game. There is a small collector's edition and expansion for it. Definitely take that one if you have the base game. And I heard also there is an expansion coming for it, which I'm super, super glad that they are showing love for that game because that game is phenomenally looking cool. And uh, at the end of every of these games, I will tell you that the game is phenomenal. It is just how it is. So, letter E, Era Medieval Age. F is for a game that uh, is long, only 10 minutes, and it's always 10 minutes long. It is called Fuse. It is a timed game. You have 10 minutes to defuse all the bombs on the ship, otherwise the bombs will explode and the ship is gone. Uh, there is a spiritual... spiritual, spiritual spiritual successor to the game uh, that I completely blanked out on the name right now when let's say you didn't manage the bombs exploded and you have to heal your people that are wounded and stuff like that I completely zoned out on it right now on the name of it but it doesn't matter we are talking about Fuse. Fuse is a rolling game where uh, you will roll some dice out of the bag on the random you have cards in front of yourself that have some different uh, things that you need to do to get rid of that card for example you need to stack a yellow cube uh, doesn't matter the yellow dice doesn't matter the number then the blue then the red and then you are you can discard it or you maybe want to have like uh, all the same numbers or all the numbers going in a descending order or ascending order all kinds of different stuff uh, and you need to uh, figure out between each of you who can take which dice because if some dice are left on the table then you will all lose that type of dice from your cards and it usually game the game lasts about 10 not about it lasts 10 minutes because it's played on a timer and i never managed to win it i don't know how you can win it and that's on easy mode and there's like hard super hard insane and all that these modes and I'm not sure, even if I played it solo, I'm not sure if I could win it. So yeah, but it is so much fun. It is press, press your luck, sort of. No, it's not, it's not press your luck. You, you roll the dice just once and you try to figure out the best possible combination for all the players and you need to be super fast about it. So yeah, fuse for my letter F. I almost, almost said letter nine, not sure why. G stands for second best game ever produced in this world and that is Galaxy Tracker with all and every expansion there is. Galaxy Trek Tracker is a game when I saw the art, the box, the artwork, I was completely repulsed by it. I didn't even want to try it. It looked fake. It looked like some sham. I don't know how to explain how bad it looked in my eyes. But then I saw it on the table and it kind of looked interesting even though the artwork I still didn't get quite, a, quite get used to it. It was like, nah, I don't know, it looks kind of cool. I want to try it maybe once. And then I tried it and my whole world was changed. Uh, 
Also, it's a time game, but the players are deciding uh, how fast or slow they want to play because you are controlling the timer and pushing it toward the end. And while you are doing that, you are trying to uh, build the best ship you can. You have three types of connectors. Some can connect to each other, some can't. So you have to worry about that. It is basically just a time puzzle where you need to build the best ship ever. And uh, it is always hilarious uh, watching how those ships will uh, completely deteriorate and be destroyed when you go on a journey. Because once you build a ship, you need to go to uh, from letter A to letter B. Uh, this, you need to... Uh, in, you encounter all kinds of different stuff and you need to make it from start to end and then earn some credits or money credits, however you want to call it. And it is, it is just awesome looking how your ship is blowing into pieces bit by bit. And even if you build super great ship, there's always some nasty thing that can really, really mess you up and destroy your ship. For example, I have a great story. I built so great ship. It had lasers all over, shields. I was practically invulnerable. Only things that could happen is if the commando would board my ship and somehow find uh, the way to the center of the, my ship because if uh, he and he can plant a bomb where he lands and if he landed in that space and placed a bomb in the center of the ship that is the only way that ship could be destroyed. Everything else I could easily survive. I had so much things that I could manipulate and survive all the all the all the bad cars that would show up on that road and uh, guess what happened yeah the commando was boarded on my ship even though my crew was armed he managed to go around them somehow and he left the bomb in the center of my ship and i just completely destroyed and uh, the best thing is i was laughing my ass off it was so much fun i was not even mad that is i think the only game when I'm completely losing that I will get a slightly mad about it. I will just take it with a, with a smile and uh, wait for another round to build even better ship. To try to build better ship. So Galaxy Tracker, second best game ever made. Age is reserved for a very, very tiny, small uh, deck building game called Hero Realms. Now, I was debating because I really like Hero Realms, I like Star Realms. Uh, I was debating which one should I put on the list. But the Hero Realms seemed more logical since I got it first. I played Star Realms, but Hero Realms had those characters. I know Star Realms had them now, but then they didn't have. Hero Realms had these characters that had some special abilities that the other characters don't. So I really like that and I got everything for the Hero Realms. And Hero Realms is just so much fun. It is so easy game to teach, so easy to play. You just take cards, bam, 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 you are done. It, it's, it, it ramps up slowly, so you are doing 1 damage, 3 damage, 2 damage, 4 damage, and then you are like 10, 15, and you are over. It is just so much fun playing this game. It is quick, it is fast, it offers you a lot of options, lots of deck building, comp, comp, not compatibilities, but combinations, combinations. I'm losing my, my words, are, are, I'm completely blanking on my English. So yeah, Hero Realms, great, great deck building game. Check it out if you already didn't. Which I doubt, you probably did. I is reserved for Istanbul. When my best man called me that he has a new game and I want to try it out, it's called Istanbul. I didn't know much about it, but I said, yeah, why not? Let's check it out. And so I came to his place, we brought out the game, other friends were there, and we played the game and I was instantly in love with it. Istanbul is really nice worker placement where you are uh, moving around on the board leaving your workers you can move up to two spaces leave your worker do the action of that space then you can go on the other space and setup can be different each time there are some pre-made setups but it works the best when you just randomly put the cards on the board and play the game and it, it is just wonderful how it works how you are trying to upgrade you're basically trying to collect five gems or i think even less if the more players are playing or more if the less people are playing in two players i think that's more than five i'm not really sure but you need to collect some uh so some gems uh some number of gems to win the game and uh, at first they are easy to collect you can collect one two really easy but as the game ramps up uh, because the spaces where the gems are are progressively getting harder and harder to achieve whatever they want you to achieve to get the gem from them so you need to 
try and figure out this board how it best works if i go here can i go here maybe you can go and pick up some resources then you can trade two spaces away and you kind of need to make this loop it, 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 it's it's wonderful wonderful game istanbul and uh, yeah that that istanbul check it out and that is that that is uh what should we call it alphabet list that is alphabet list up to letter i uh, join me next time while we continue to explore another eight letters and then in a third one we are going to do last nine letters of the English alphabet and we are going to talk about some games in it. So definitely check this, uh, check other videos on this channel. If you want to see these lists early, maybe you can uh, join uh, me on Patreon because there these types of videos are get uploaded like a week in advance or maybe even two weeks in advance. However, I... Uh, managed to squeeze them in be, uh, and then edited them and whatever but yeah if you want to check those out check out my patreon uh, subscribe to this channel if you didn't it helps out a lot thank you that's that thank you for spending time with me it was pleasure spending some time with you and until next time Pozdra. and we are kicking thing off kicking thing offs kicking thing offs Jeez. Uh, bought the game and called me out, called me, called me, called me. <laughs>